Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with the summer transfer move to Arsenal. And uh, you know what, I was uh, chatting to a guy yesterday and he was going, what's going on Robbie? He goes, I still haven't heard the Mustafi thing announced. I'm a bit worried, right, because I know what Arsenal are like, right? Next minute, I said, listen, cool, cool, calm down, calm down. They're definitely going to get done. You, when you hear Arsene Wenger saying it's 99% sure that it's done, he doesn't say them sort of things unless it has been done. The deals have been done. It's just for them to be announced. Um, could they be announced today? Today, of course, in England, if you're living outside the UK, today in England is a, um, what we call a bank holiday. So it's a holiday for everybody in England. So it may not be announced today. Probably going to get announced those deals on Tuesday. You'll see uh, Mustafi and Perez uh, wearing the old Arsenal shirt. So look for those deals to be announced probably on Tuesday. Um, Mustafi, interestingly, he was talking to the German media, Sky Sports in Germany, and uh, some interesting quotes from Mustafi. They asked him, um, and this sort of confirms it 100%, because uh, they're about to go out on international duty. They asked um, Mustafi if he'd spoken to Per Mertesacker and Mesut Ozil about Arsenal, and his quotes are, I haven't spoken to Per yet since I haven't seen him for a while, but I spoke to Mesut and he told me everything how the club is, how it's run. Everything he said was very positive and I was quickly convinced since I find the club awesome. It's not quite the typical English club who plays typical English football, but instead the football that I like. The football that I played in Spain and in the national team with the ball on the ground and moving forward with passes. So I was very pleased. So I was very quickly sure that I wanted to go there and that I didn't need much convincing. And the stature of Arsenal played a part too. It's a giant club with a giant history, he said. A club that always plays up there, always in Europe too. And what was also important to me is that I've taken a step forward. In my career, I've always looked out for taking always looked out for taking steps forward. For me, it's a logical next step. Playing in the Champions League, playing with teammates whom I can learn who have a big experience, so it's why I moved there. For me, it's also important to have a coach who's been there for many years and takes care of everything so that I only have to worry about my own football. So those are the words coming from uh, Mustafi. And Mustafi, of course, who speaks very good English. Um, remember, he even was he was at Everton um, back in the day, so his English is good. Most Germans' English is very good anyway. Um, and that confirms it definitely, Mustafi, just for that to be announced. Also, Luca, Lucas Perez, again, just to be announced on Lucas Perez, uh, his teammate, Juan Fran, or should I say ex teammate at Deportivo, uh, told the local press, and his quotes were, Our best player has gone. We all have to take a step forward, right? So that's it, definitely, that Perez has gone as well. So those two, as we've known for a few days now, are definitely joining Arsenal. Um, I did a poll yesterday and I said to you guys, do we need anybody else? Do Arsenal need one more? 65% of you said yes, we could do with one more. 35% satisfied. The 65% of you said, getting greedy. <laughs> Wenger has spent nearly 100 million quid. That's not like him, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, a lot of you suggesting that you still think we could do with one more. Um, I don't think we'll get one more. It's a massive squad at the moment. Um, so... Obviously, I think a couple are probably going to go out before um, the end of the window. The obvious ones to me look like uh, Callum Chambers might go out on loan um, and possibly Serge Gnabry as well because we've got such a big squad at the moment. But um, one more in is what you guys would like to see. Now, we're being linked today with this one's come right out of the blue with this guy. He's a Paraguayan international goes by the name of Miguel Almiron. Miguel Almiron, he's 22 years old. Um, he's a left winger and he plays his football in Argentina for a team called Lanus. Now, the reports are coming out of uh, Tuto Metro, Merto Web, um, Italian-based um, sports outlet, and they claim that Arsenal want the player before the end of the transfer window, that they're negotiating with Lanus. Um, Lanus... Um, the, the, the price we're being told is about £9 million. 
Lana's apparently want to get as obviously as much money as they possibly can for him and they're seeking to get about 11 million pounds um, and as I said he plays on the left hand side which has been a little bit of a problem side for Arsenal um, you know obviously Alexis can go over onto the left if we get this guy Perez in I, I presume there's also Iwobi who can play out there and Danny Wilbert when he gets back but none of those are like natural left wingers you know what I mean you know where that's that is their game so could it be that Arsenal are trying to move in for this guy to kind of fill that void to get like a naturally gifted left winger over there or could it be just this is another sort of your long-term investment type signing where you know they're buying a player to for the future um, he's a Paraguayan international. He played in the recent Copa America. I have to admit, I do not know hardly anything about him. Um, this is another YouTube job. <laughs> what we call nowadays a YouTube player. And he's definitely going to be a YouTube player. So get searching and get having a look at him. But we're being linked very heavily with him today. Whether or not that will happen again, I'm not sure. As I said, you know, it's, it just seemed that Wenger might have done his business unless something major propped up. I, I think that's their policy. Now, could that something major be Daniel Sturridge? I know we've brought Lucas Perez in as a striker, but the rumours coming out of Liverpool, are to, you know, it, they might possibly let him go before the end of the transfer window. He's obviously not happy there. You saw the pictures um, over the weekend coming on with two minutes to go. Um, at Liverpool, you know, I mean, he's he's not happy with that. He's second fiddle to Origi. You know, he's he's way down the pecking order right now um, behind Firmino at Liverpool. He wants to play week in, week out. We know about the injury problems. Is he injured? Is he not injured? I don't know. But one thing I know, he's a top quality striker. The sort of striker that I think would work perfectly in Arsenal's system. You know, I think he'd get a lot of goals um, playing for Arsenal. Obviously, he's used to the Premier League. He'd be expensive, though. I mean, it'd be interesting. What sort of money would it would it be? You know, would it cost to take a player like Daniel Sturridge to Arsenal? Um, and are Arsenal in for another striker now that they've got this Lucas Perez? Are they satisfied that this guy's going to be able to deliver? You know, at the highest level. So it'd be. Listen, this is a bit of a shot in the dark. But it's an interesting one for me that if Sturridge did become available, should Arsenal move? Remember the injury record as well. That's another thing we have to remember. Although, if you brought a player like that in and you've got Giroud, you've got Lucas Perez, if he get, does get injured, you know you've also got very, very good cover. But, I don't know. Again, if you brought him in, then what would happen to Akpom? Surely he'd have to go out on loan. I don't know. There's a lot of uh, you know different things to consider. I'd like to know from you guys, if Daniel Sturridge did become available, and as I said, there's a lot of rumours that Liverpool might be willing to sell him um, in the transfer window, so they may sell him by before Wednesday, they might keep him, they might sell him, but if they were going to sell him, do you think Arsenal should move for him, yes or no? That's the poll today, let me know, leave it in the comments below what you think of Sturridge, but very interesting on that one. So thanks for watching today. Um, we're going to be back around about the same time tomorrow. Just two days to go. And no more rumours from me. It's all done. Whatever we've got is what we've got. And that's it. Um, and I'll be able to get a nice little rest every morning. <laughs> thanks for watching the show. We'll be back around about the same time tomorrow.